it's Lauren Yates from Rave It Up here. Welcome to our weekly wrap. Here's what's been going on this week in the world of entertainment. This week in Detroit, friends, family, fans and music icons came together to celebrate the life of Aretha Franklin. But after singer Ariana Grande took the stage to sing Natural Woman, the funeral also served as a reminder that there isn't a single place where a woman can feel safe from sexual assault and harassment. Following her performance, Pastor Charles H. Ellis III wrapped his arm around Grande, pulled her close and touched her breast multiple times. Visibly uncomfortable, Grande forced her way through awkward laughs as not to make a scene at the Queen of Souls eight-hour funeral. Ellis has since apologised. Metallica are launching their own brand of whiskey and will be called Blackened. The heavy metal band are calling it the next evolution of whiskey. They reportedly use a unique sonic enhancement process known as black noise to shape the whiskey's flavour. This involves playing custom playlists of Metallica songs during the distilling process. Playing this over a subwoofer apparently disrupts the whiskey inside the barrel and it affects it on a molecular level and causes increased wood interaction that kicks up the wood flavour characteristics in the whiskey. It's available to order now and costs $53 a bottle, not including shipping. She's not a dog, Jason. Yeah, well, listen, she's been very selfish. She hasn't been a very good teammate, I can tell you that. Halsey and G-Eazy decided to call it quits after one year of dating back in July. But new loved up photos on Instagram show that the couple might be back together. Rumours started circling that the pair reunited after they shared a kiss on stage at G-Eazy's concert in New Jersey over the weekend. And if that wasn't confirmation enough, these photos say it all. I guess they really meant it when they say, till the end, it's him and I. Yo, I told you, you can't touch this. Why you standing there, man? You can't touch this. Childish Gambino sure is known for his unique video clips. And here is another. Check out his new track, Feels Like Summer. You can feel it in the streets On a day like this, that I feel like summer No matter how hard your dreams seem, keep going. You might even have to climb up the side of a building in downtown LA, but it'll be worth it at the top. Here is Panic at the Disco's new song, High Hopes. It's another catchy one. Jonas has teamed up with Robin Schulz for a new banger of a hit called Right Now. There is no video clip for it quite yet, but let's have a listen to the song anyway. Don't ever let somebody tell you, you can't do something. The world famous ruby slippers worn by Judy Garland in The Wizard of Oz went missing 13 years ago. Now they've finally been found. The shoes went missing back in 2005 from the late actress's hometown of Grand Rapids in Minnesota. They're said to be insured for one million US dollars. No one has been charged or arrested yet for the theft. Ryan Gosling plays Neil Armstrong in the new film that we've all been waiting for called First Man. It will be released out in theaters on the 12th of October, but here's a sneak peek at the trailer in the meantime. We have serious problems. We've got this under control. You're a bunch of boys. You don't have anything under control. Alec Baldwin has pulled out of playing Bruce Wayne's father in the new Joker movie starring Joaquin Phoenix. The actor told USA Today this week that he has scheduling issues and that he's sure there are 25 guys who can play that part. The film is set to hit theatres in October 2019. Hugh Jackman plays Democrat Gary Hart in the new film The Front Runner. 
And from just watching the trailer, you can tell it's going to be another incredible performance from Jackman. He is a man with power, and that takes certain responsibility. We need to say something. It's nobody's business. None of it is. Okay, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about how you get through today. This campaign is about the future, not rumors, not sleaze, and I care about the sanctity of this process, whether you do or do not. We all know the feeling of losing someone and having to grieve, so we can all really connect to Elizabeth Olsen's new movie, Sorry for Your Loss. I hate how in the beginning everyone wants to send you flowers and they stop calling and writing and doing nice things for you because they're over it and they expect you to be over it. You think you knew him, but you really didn't know him as well as you thought. Do you know your husband's passcode to his phone? Doesn't everyone? You know, otherwise I'd wonder who he was texting that he didn't want me to see. My sister's in free fall. I just want to know things about him that I didn't get to know. Bad Times at the El Royale is a new movie starring Dakota Johnson, John Hamm and Chris Hemsworth, just to name a few. And it's about seven strangers, each with a secret to bury, who meet at a rundown hotel with a dark past. Seven strangers, seven secrets. Have a look. Sir. Can't take my eyes off you. We have a problem. You'd be like heaven to you watch me? I only watch who they tell me to watch. Who's they? Management. Did you think you could just take this mine? I wouldn't come a home. No, I figured you would. But I'd be ready when you did. You lost, Father. Can I confess something to you? I'm not really a priest. Here's the official trailer for a touching new movie called Where Hands Touch. Are you spying on me? I wanted to know if you were all right. Hey, if his father catches you with his boy, he'll kill him before he comes and kills us. Are you making problems for yourself? Aren't you afraid? Of what? War. Mostly I think about what it would be like to fight, to stand up for Germany, like my father did. Jabbed full of beans, no doubt. I thought they talked like us. Does anyone else speak Australian? It is not long before Meghan Markle and Prince Harry come down under for the Invictus Games in Sydney at the end of October. And they have turned it into a double date. They won't be the only royal couple coming to Australia for the Games. And no, it is not Prince William and Kate. Prince Frederick and Princess Mary of Denmark are reportedly coming as well. The Danish royals have many ties to Australia. Firstly, Mary was born here, and the couple met in a pub in Sydney during the 2000 Summer Olympics. A year later, Mary moved to Denmark to give her romance with Frederick a real chance. And the rest is history. Maroon 5 have announced that they will return to Australia in February next year as part of their current world tour. The last time the band was down under was back in 2015. This time they'll visit Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne. Tickets are on sale on the 10th of September. It has previously been reported that Donald Trump will be visiting Australia in November. Unfortunately, this plan has now been cancelled. Trump will be sending Vice President Mike Pence instead. The tour includes stops in Singapore for the East Asia Summit and Papua New Guinea for the Asia Pacific Economic Corporation meetings, as well as Australia. While this is happening, Trump will embark on other overseas trips. Lily Allen has announced her return to Australia in February as part of her 2019 headline tour to celebrate her latest album, No Shame. This will be her first Australian shows in four years, and she'll be performing in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane and Perth. Tickets are on sale on the 11th of September via Ticketek. Anne-Marie will be coming down under for two exciting shows in Sydney and Melbourne next month, and she has just announced that she'll be joined by special guests, Aussie duo Nations. Tickets for Anne-Marie's Australian tour are on sale now. Next week on the Rave It Up radio show, I'll be interviewing American Michael Jackson tribute artist William Hall. William is in Australia at the moment for his huge legacy tour, and next week we'll be hearing all about it. Definitely do not want to miss it. That's next Tuesday at 6pm on Soir. You can tune in live on our website, which is raveituptv.com. Also, the podcast will be uploaded on Wednesday in case you missed it. Now, if you have any comments on today's stories, please leave them below. We'd love to know what you think. And make sure to press that subscribe button on YouTube and also give us a thumbs up. And of course, if you'd like more entertainment news, because who doesn't, right? You can visit our website, raveituptv.com. Now, before I go, everybody, remember, try and fail, but don't fail to try.